Welcome back. You can connect with your loved ones in spirit with the help of psychic medium Patricia Griffin, who's a Connecticut native. Yeah, yeah she's got several live shows coming up soon here in our state, and she's here to tell us all about them Welcome. live. Thanks well, so much thank for you. being thank here. Thank you for having me. So this is a fascinating topic. Of course, in the commercial break, we're already you're already connecting in with different things. But what you've had this gift since you were born. You've never known not to be able to. Do you see the dead? Do you hear the dead? All of the above? All of the above. Okay. <laughs> wow. So when I'm reading, they only show me what they want to, so I may not see what somebody's person looks like unless there's something on the feature that is um, going to mean something to the reading. But I always hear them. They're like thoughts. It's almost like putting um, words on a projection screen, and then I, we have to decipher them together. That's so fascinating. How did you develop your skills? Did you have to develop them, or did they just come naturally? It just came naturally. So was there anyone else in your family? Because as a little child, when you start saying, you're either going to have a very accepting family or you're going to have like, no, 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 we don't do that. Um, it was kind of that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, the, no, no, we don't do that. And um, it wasn't until I was older that I really knew to what extent I had this. And by then, you know, I was already in my, my 40s when I went professional. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. So uh, as a professional psychic medium, um, you want us to know that this is not something I'm fascinated by, but I know some people are afraid of it. And you say it's not really anything to be afraid of. You're kind of like a microphone for the other side. Correct. You just have a better antenna than some of us. Exactly. And <laughs> we only read for your highest good. So they're never, ever going to tell you something or they shouldn't, you know, that's going to be bad or it's going to hurt somebody. It's usually only something to help you, protect you, um, and really letting you know that your loved ones are with you. Mm. Yeah, if they ever did give you a prediction, it would be for your health or to help someone. That's fascinating. So, but it's really just to make sure that you have those loving relationships continue, right? They do. They do. Because when we pass away, there is something out there in your spirit, your essence remain. And they do what they did best, and that's loving you. Mm -hmm. And so they're always around you making new memories. Well, I always think that it's fascinating because I think, um, y you know, when people pass, we're the ones who are left with the holes and you hope that they're happy and peaceful but we're the ones who are left you know grieving correct and they are happy and they are at peace but they want you to be happy so they don't want you to cry and they don't want you to just think oh i wish they were here because they are in a different way mm. and what about signs a lot of people are like oh how do i get more signs for me, I, I always say on the show that I know my dad was sending all of us cardinals. It became really obvious. Um, but it, it was, they're always, are they trying to communicate with us on a regular basis? Always, whether it's a license plate in front of you, whether it's a coin on the ground, whether it's a rainbow, whether it's a cardinal, they're always trying to let us know. Whether you're in a doctor's office and you hear a similar name or you hear the name of one of your relatives, you have to really listen and pay attention wherever you are because they, they come in any way and form. And do you find that, like, when you're with other people, you can help them develop intuitive skills, too? Or do you just kind of give them the message and let them be? Um, I don't do the intuitive school skills when I'm reading. I do offer that separately. Mm -hmm. But when I'm reading, it's just about a message to let them know that they'll never alone, that your loved ones are always with you. And that's what you do during shows, right? Yes. It's almost like a memory book. Like, you take all your memories that you've ever experienced and you put them in a book. Well, then together, we're, we're taking that book and we're ripping out different pages. We're like, oh, let's go to page 112. Oh, let's go back to page one. And then they talk about anybody that was in your life at that time, and then they all intercept into a message. Wow. What about our animals? Oh, yes. They definitely come through as well. I was doing a group, and um, this woman wanted anybody else but this, and I looked at her, and I was talking about her brother, and I said, who's Lewis? Who's the owl? She goes, that's his dog. That just passed away two uh -huh. weeks ago. She's like, I hated that dog. <laughs> <laughs> but they do come through, and they will. Sometimes it's your loved one on the other side bringing in that dog, and sometimes it's the actual dog. But they do go to heaven as well, and they're always around you. Wow. I love that. Wow. Thank you. So this is, uh, we want you to know if this is something you're interested in. You have a number of shows coming yeah. up, lots of chances to see with you. And just uh, if we go to a show, what's it like? You're reading gallery style? I am, yes. Yeah. So if there's a stage, I'm standing on the stage. If there's not a stage, I kind of walk through the audience. And then I'm just getting messages. Like, I'm guided to where I am. It's almost like I'm a human GPS. So I'll go right to where that row is or right to where that person is sitting, and then I'll start reading them. Wow. So this weekend, you've got the Comics Roadhouse at Mohegan Sun, but lots of other ones coming up, which, uh, which Doctor Brewing so in Southington, and mm -hmm. it goes on. And you said you're really known um, for reading lots of folks, so you, a lot, there's a good chance you might have personal messages. Absolutely. I am known to getting to um, higher 
um, percentage of people. Which I'm sure is great for people who come out to, to see you because that's what they're really hoping for, right? Exactly. And I tell people not to expect when they come because I'm not in control, their loved ones are. And right. so sometimes they know that maybe they don't need a message and then sometimes there's people we don't know what's going on you know, in their home and they may need something more so. Mm -hmm. And you also do do private readings if someone is uh, looking. Um, it's pattygriffinmedium.com. So you can go see a show or you do smaller groups that you would set up or private readings uh, that you can set up with you. Yes, correct. Wow. Okay. That's wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks, Thanks Patty. Thank you for having and me. And again, all of the... Um, all of Patty's shows up on your screen right now, including Comics Roadhouse at Mohegan, which is coming up, uh, actually all of them, in the next couple of weeks. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And